Hi everyone, welcome back to Swedish Plant Guys. We get a ton of questions from you and that is so great. We read all of them, so you, even if you don't get an answer in writing, we try and make Q&A videos like this to answer your questions. Now, when we've gotten a question a lot of times, we try and put them in a Q&A video so that you will get an answer for it because it takes way too much time to try and answer them in writing. It takes a small novel on each answer and we, don't, we just don't have that time. But we try and make these Q&As for you. And one of the, answer, the questions we have gotten a lot, maybe one of the most common question is, how do I get my plant to be bigger, thicker and start to grow more, okay? So to answer that question, uh, I have to talk a little bit about how the plant works and what we have to do to make it bigger, thicker and more lush, okay? So to do that, I would like to start with a question myself. Now, if I would want to be bigger, thicker, what would I do? As a humans, what do we do to get bigger, fatter even? Well, we eat and we eat and we eat and we eat. We eat quite a lot. The more we eat, the bigger we get. And it's the same thing with plants. The question here is, what does a plant eat? When I make that question, um, when I'm out making some speech or something, uh, usually I get the answer, nutrients. It's a good answer, but it's wrong. The plant does not eat nutrients. That is not the food for the plant. So what is the food for the plant? Well, the food uses something that is called photosynthesis. And that procedure creates the food for the plant. And what is that? What is the photosynthesis? Well, you need a couple of things to make the photosynthesis. First of all, you need light, preferably sunlight, but artificial light works as well. But you need a lot of light and you need water. And the third component in the photosynthesis is carbon dioxide. So to produce the food for the plant, it needs light, water and carbon dioxide. So what is it that it's creating with this procedure? What do we get out of it? Well, what we get is actually this. We get this. This is the chemical formula for it. C6H12O6. And what it actually is, is that it's glucose. Another way of saying sugar. We get sugar. Now this, the glucose, this is the food for the plant. If we want our plant to grow, get bigger, get thicker, this is what the plant needs to eat. And how do we make the plant get bigger? Well, we help it produce sugar. And we do that by, one, add more light. Now that doesn't mean add more direct sunlight because you can burn a plant. But if you move a plant so that it gets a little bit more light than it got before, that is one way to trigger because the photosynthesis will work easier. So more light, you will get more sugar and your plant will start to grow and it will become bigger. We can add water, but 
We only add water. We, we can't just continue to pour water in our pot. If we have a closed system uh, and we start to add more water, what will happen is that the plant will die because you will get a lot of water in the bottom, the roots will not be able to survive in that, it won't get any air, and it will die. It will not create more sugar. But what we can do is that we can make sure that the plant has sufficient amount of water. It always has a way to get the water. One way is to put your plant in a self-watering system where it always has access to water. Not too much water, not too little water, but the perfect amount of water. That is one way. Another way is to use something like pumice. There you get a perfect mixture of water and air inside of your container. But make sure that it has sufficient amount of water. That is the next thing, to get more sugar. Now the third thing is carbon dioxide. Well, we have a ton of that in the air. We don't have to add more carbon dioxide because there is a lot of it in the air. And if you add light and sufficient amount of water, it will take the carbon dioxide from the air. So you don't have to add that. But there is an old, uh, old tale of that. When you talk a lot with plants, they will grow bigger and they will be more healthy. And that is because you breathe out the carbon dioxide on the plant. Now, we get something else here. The plant gets sugar from this process. But we also get something. Because we get oxygen. Now, this is not the complete chemical formula. So you don't have to write that down in... This is just a simplified version of it. So, but we get oxygen. Uh, so the plants uh, are what keeps us alive here on Earth. It's what, and this process, the photosynthesis, it gives the plant sugar, it gives it food, and it gives us oxygen, because one of the things is that the plant releases oxygen in this process. Now, this is what we know. We need to create more sugar for the plant. So moving on, now we know how to create sugar. This is the food for the plant. What happens when we do this? We give it more light. We give it sufficient amount of water. It has the carbon dioxide from the air. It starts to grow. And what happens is it gets more leaves on the plant. When it grows, it gets more leaves. And the leaves, we can call them solar panels because that's exactly what they are. The leaves are there to pick up the light and the carbon dioxide from the air. So when you get more leaves, you get more solar panels that can absorb more light and more carbon dioxide, which means it can create even more sugars. So when it's growing, it's actually helping itself to grow even more. But when it gets more leaves and it sucks up the, the, the light and the carbon dioxide, it also needs more water. And the water comes from down here. It comes from the roots. And therefore we need a transport system. We need something that can transport the water from the roots up to the leaves. And then take the light and carbon dioxide, the energy, creating sugar, take it down to the roots again. So we need a transport system. And that transport system, we can call it a highway. Because what happens if we have a highway where you just put in more cars, more cars and more cars. Eventually, that highway will not be big enough. So what we do is that we add more lanes to the highway. And it's the same thing with the plant, because when it gets more leaves, it needs to move more water from the roots up and down. The plant will automatically create more highways. And what happens then is that the stems and the branches will start to get thicker. It's because it needs more of the highways to transport the water. And as that is happening, more water is transporting inside of the system. We get even more leaves. We get more light and more carbon dioxide, more water transport. This is how you make your plant grow and get thicker and bigger by helping it create sugar. 
So, I think a lot of you are now saying, but what about the nutrients? Everybody's telling me I have to add nutrients to my plants. So, if they weren't food, then what are they? Okay, we'll take humans again. I, I usually compare, uh, compare it like this. We humans, we need food to survive. And food for us is actually protein, fats and carbohydrates. That is food for us. But we need something else. We don't need it to survive directly, but in the long run, we need vitamins as well. The vitamins helps us to stay healthy. They helps us get a better bone structure, better hair or whatever. It, they help us to be healthier. And it's the same thing with the plants. The nutrients are there to help the plant to do this process even better. And the different types of nutrients that we add to the plant have different assignments in this process. Now usually we're talking about NPK when we give nutrients. Now we have nitrogen, phosphor and uh, potassium. Nitrogen helps the plant to grow. It helps the plant to create more leaves. The phosphorus helps the plant to create a better root system. It also helps it with creating buds, flowers and fruits. And the last thing is the potassium. The potassium works uh, to help the plant in all stages. It helps with the highway inside of the plant. It helps with the root system. It helps a little bit everywhere. Now, these are all, of course, very uh, simplified, but that is the main part that they do. So when we add these nutrients, it's like when we are eating and getting our vitamins and minerals inside of us, because we're helping our bodies to be healthier. To summarize, if you want a healthier, bigger, fatter plant, you need to give it more food. The food is the photosynthesis. Light, water, carbon dioxide, it pr which produces glyco glucose, or in another word, sugar. That is the food. If we can help the plant to create more food, it will get thicker and it will get more healthier. And then we add some nutrients to help with this problem, to help create even more sugars. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this. Hit that like and subscribe button. And don't be afraid to comment something in the commentary section. Please let us know what you would like us to make a video of. And we will take that in consideration. Until next time, Heido!